Welcome back to another Stardew Valley video. Before we get started, I wanted to ask you guys something. How long have you guys been playing Stardew Valley? And how long do you think you will continue to play? Let me know in the comments below. Alrighty, let's get started with the video. I'm going to show you how to go from 0 hearts to 8 hearts with any of the marriage candidates in one week. It is very important that you start your journey on a Monday and you will soon see why. Step 1 is just to say hello to your target every single day. Each time you simply say hello, you will gain 20 friendship points. So over the course of a week, you can gain close to one full heart by just saying hello. Step 2 is to get some iridium quality love gifts. Since I am befriending Abigail, I will be using iridium quality pumpkins. Each iridium quality love gift will gain you close to half a heart of friendship. If you started your quest on a Monday, you will be able to give them 4 love gifts by the next Monday. That is because you are only allowed to give 2 gifts per week. But that resets on Sunday. So from Monday to Monday, I can give Abigail 4 love gifts. Next, and this is very important, you need to take Abigail to the cinema on the Monday, the first day of the week. Make sure that a loved movie is playing. Fortunately, Abigail loves both of the movies that play in full. You can consult the wiki to see what movie your target likes. Each time you take someone to a loved movie, they will gain 200 friendship points. Make sure to buy them a loved snack as well. Abigail loves rock candy, but check the wiki for your target. So each time you take someone to a loved movie and get them a loved snack, you will gain an entire heart, which is pretty effective if you ask me. If you want to befriend someone to 8 hearts within a week, they will need to have their birthday within that week. Fortunately for us, Abigail's birthday is on the 13th of fall. If you give her an Iridium loved gift on her birthday, she will gain 960 friendship points, taking her from 2 hearts all the way to 6 hearts with a single gift. It is important to note that birthday gifts do not count towards the two gifts per week limitation. Now that it is Monday again, this is the last day that we can use to get her to 8 hearts. Since it is exactly one week later, we can take Abigail to the cinema again. And since it's a loved movie, and since we can get her love snack, we will get an additional 250 friendship points from this movie, meaning we managed to get Abigail from 0 hearts to 8 hearts in only one week. Now we can give her a bouquet and date her. I know that this method does require you to have access to the cinema and have iridium quality loved gifts, but it is still pretty cool that we can do this. There are a bunch of trash cans around the world of Stardew Valley. If you interact with these, you have a chance of getting some random item. Most of the time, you will get nothing. And if you do get something, it might be useless like an old soggy newspaper. But don't underestimate trash cans in Stardew Valley. The game is specifically coded to give you worse items if you have checked less than 20 trash cans on your save file. After that, you can start to get real good items in these trash cans. You can find all kinds of great things like cooked meals and fish. Most of these items are guaranteed to be found on certain days. But luck also has a huge impact on finding items in trash cans. So always rummage through the trash on the best possible luck day. Who knows what you can find in these trash cans. You might even consider these as treasure chests that are hidden in plain sight. Catfish are kind of tough to catch, especially in the early game. If your goal is to complete the community center within your first year, you will need to catch the catfish to complete the community center. If it's a bit too tough to catch within your first spring, you need not worry, because there's another spot that will allow you to catch catfish no matter what season it is, and that is in the secret woods. Just fish here during a rainy day and get that catfish. Now you can catch it in full when you have fully leveled up your fishing skill and bought a trap bobber fishing tackle. 
Did you know that only 25% of you guys are subscribed? We are so close to 100,000 subscribers. So please do hit subscribe. With your help, we can hit 100,000 so easily. Making coffee is incredibly easy in Stardew Valley, and it should not be underestimated. Coffee crops will produce coffee beans every two days, and each crop can produce up to four coffee beans. You can then place five coffee beans into a keg to turn it into actual coffee. Turning coffee beans into coffee is one of the fastest conversions that can be done in Stardew Valley, as it only takes two in-game hours, so you could turn thousands of coffee beans beans into coffee in a single day. Now you could drink the coffee to get a nice speed buff. You could give the coffee to the townspeople as many people at least like coffee. Or you can use the coffee to make money. It is important to note that if you turn your coffee into triple shot espresso, it will sell for the exact same amount. But if you have a huge excess of key gems, you could just buy a bunch of key seasoning and create high quality coffee. These will sell for a decent amount. I'm not sure if it is worth it to use key gems to try and make money, but you could do this if you wanted to. Hops are an incredibly profitable crop and they regrow every single day. So if you have the agriculturist profession and grow hops using Deluxe Speed Grow that you can buy from Sandy on Thursdays for only 80 gold each, your hops will be fully matured after a single week. Meaning if you plant them on the first day of summer, they will be producing hops on the second Monday. Meaning you can get 21 harvests of hops. You can turn the hops into pale ale by dropping them into kegs. It will only take 2 days to process the hops into pale ale. Hop seeds cost 60 gold. And if you turn all of the hops that you have harvested into pale ale, you will make about 6,000 gold per hop crop. That is a ridiculous return on investment. Don't sleep on hops, they will change your life if you abuse them in summer. Here is a strange tip. In the volcano dungeon, you will find some chests. These chests can have some really great rewards like cinder shards, ostrich eggs, and even really powerful weapons. But these chests can also contain golden coconuts. But there is a unique mechanism with golden coconuts. These chests will only have a chance to drop a golden coconut if you have cracked one open before at Clint the blacksmith. Meaning, if you have not cracked one open, all of the other items will have a higher drop chance. So don't crack open a golden coconut until you have found the things you need from these chests. Like the dragon scale boots, the dragon tooth club, and the phoenix ring. After you have found these rare items, then go crazy with those golden coconuts. And that's all I have for you in this video. If you have enjoyed it, consider hitting subscribe. And hey, why not hit that bell too? But for now, I will see you in the next video.